Let's talk audio. What is going on everybody? Thank you for joining me for yet another video on the channel. And today we're going to be talking about all the different audio options that are out there for your videos. Now before we get into it, if, if you haven't already, uh, please just scroll down a little bit and hit the like button and, and subscribe to the channel. I have like, I don't know, 22 subscribers. That'd really help. Um, please, I, I don't, I don't know. I mean, I'll, I'll hold the video. I'll, I'll wait for you. Just, just go ahead and just, just click it. It's, I'll wait. You get it? You get it? Okay. Hey, thank you. I saw, I see that. I see you, thank you, thanks. If you don't know already, half of a good video is the sound, the audio. And today I wanna to show you the four most common microphones that we have available that a lot of people use on their videos. First one being a dynamic microphone or some sort of tabletop mounted microphone like this the second being a camera mounted shotgun mic, the third being a lavalier mic, and the fourth being your onboard microphone that's already in your camera ready to go. So without further ado, let's get into it. So the first microphone I wanna talk about is this microphone I use right here for all of my, uh, my desk, videos, I guess you can call them. I don't know. Uh, they're really good for studio recording. It's my favorite because of the sound quality, as you can hear right now. So this is the, the Zoom Dynamic Mic ZDM-1. Um, I think, I don't know, I paid So right now, just the microphone on Amazon is going for $79.99. So it's a pretty cheap option uh, and it sounds amazing in my opinion. But if I were to give this guy a con, uh, the biggest con for me is that it requires me to sync the audio file in post uh, up to my video file from my camera. If your camera like mine doesn't have a XLR cord uh, adapter to it <clears throat> like one of these guys focus so a lot of cameras okay I didn't un unplug mine So a lot of uh, lesser expensive cameras don't have that option to plug it in. So a big con, not only to syncing your audio files, is to getting a, you need a audio recorder uh, and able to record your audio. Uh, and then you can take the micro or the SD card, whatever it uses out of that and plug it right into your computer, upload it into your your editing software, whatever you use, and you have to sync it that way. That's this guy, the Zoom Dynamic Mic ZDM1. Uh, and of course, the there's a lot of options to mount it. Um, as you can see here, I use a, uh, a boom mic uh, arm and I attach it to my table here. All right, next up you are hearing 
the shotgun mic I have attached to the top of my camera. Uh, it is a, a Rode video mic. Uh, let's see how much that cost. I really should start searching all this stuff up before I do the video. Okay. So this guy I'm seeing on Amazon go for $146.49. Pros for it, uh, sound quality is pretty good. Um, I like the fact that, you know, you can attach it to your camera and it goes along with you wherever it goes. It's really good for vlogging. Um, one con, um, I could really think for, for shotgun mics is that they usually take batteries or if they don't take batteries in the microphone, they drain the battery in your camera. So that is the, the Rode video shotgun mic. Okay, next up we have a lavalier mic. Uh, now the one I have is pretty, pretty inexpensive, probably like the cheapest a reasonable option I could find. And it is the Movo WMX7. And here's the microphone itself. It's attached to my collar here. And these are used mostly in events that uh, the person, your subject that you're filming is moving around. Uh, maybe outside, they can't have the ability to always be next to the camera to utilize a shotgun mic. And so they, they use this, they attach it, they hide this little wire, usually under their shirt or inside of a jacket, and they have this, which is attached to like their belt or something like that. And there. So these are, see, these are uh, pretty nice um, for the ability to be able to have the freedom to move around and you need your camera to be still in one spot. So I want to test this out. I'm going to go over here. So see, now I am away from the camera and I'm actually going to make myself a drink here. A lot of them plug into your camera. They take just a normal 35 millimeter jack and they plug into the side of the camera and it records both the audio file along with the video file so you don't have to cut and sync both files together. And lastly, you are listening to the onboard microphone that is in the camera. Now I'm using a Canon EOS R to film this and as you could probably instantly tell, the sound quality is not great at all. Um, but the biggest pro to this is that it's already there. Uh, just about every camera now, any DSLR style cameras have onboard microphones. And as they're not preferable and, and sounds, uh, it sounds. They're already there, so easy use and, and you know, they're very cost efficient because, well, you don't have to buy other audio equipment. I don't know what I'm saying anymore. Uh, so let's get back on this guy here. We turn on. So there you have it folks, probably the foremost common types of audio there are out there. Um, you know, I hope this video helps for you choosing which type of microphone to use for your videos. And I don't know, that's about it. So again, if you haven't already guys, 
hit the like button, subscribe, click that bell if you want to stay tuned and get notified with all my new videos. Um, trying to do some maybe at least every every two weeks. Um, it's just, I don't know. I'm kind of stuck in this barracks room right now. Uh, I work nights. There's not a whole lot to do outside. Um. Hello darkness, my old friend. I've come to talk with you. Okay. So, thanks for tuning in, guys. And as always, I'll see you in the next one. I don't know why I try anymore. <laughs>